Hello, people. It's Poet. And we're back in the dinosaur world now. We left off. Uh, we had discovered one thing after we went caving. And the reason we went caving, as a matter of fact, all very important to talk about today. Because what we found out was that Jurassic Craft basically disappeared. It disappeared. It, it It's still there. I mean, it is now. But everything from the Jurassic Craft world seems to be gone. So, with the exception of a few things. So, that's probably where our Herrerasaurian friend of ours went. Hank the Herrerasaur. He's gone. Um, and also, the Parasaurolophus, the Hadrosaur. And the Stegosaur that was in here, they are gone. They're just completely gone. They're vanished. So that this is all empty. This is empty. This is empty. We got to make new dinosaurs today. That's what we're going to do today. Um, I've also had a few requests. What is he doing climbing on the fence? What was that? A, it almost looked like the other guy was getting out. I'm going to climb up here and see. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? It's like a cat. If anybody owns a, if anybody owns a cat, they know exactly what I mean. It's like a cat trying to climb the curtains or something. Um, but what was I saying? So, we got to go to the lab. We got to make some new dinosaurs, but there have been a lot of requests for people uh from people for me to start building things like this big portal lab thing. And like the hotel, I gotta finish. And they want attractions, so I'm thinking about what are, what are attractions? What could be an attraction? I started thinking about Operation Genesis, and what attractions that they had in that park. Um, so they had like the safari adventure. Clearly, we can't really do that here because there isn't like a huge open field-like place. Um, and there's also. Uh, limited space as it is. The balloon ride we could maybe try to pretend to have. Gizmo's okay, by the way. Right, Gizmo? Yup. So we could try to have a balloon ride. Um, a hot air balloon would be kind of cool to have. And I've built some of those before in the build battles that I do. If you love, like, really, really sil silly building in Minecraft, check out my build battle series. It is so funny, some of the stuff we build. And one of those things was balloon, balloon rides, or um, hot air balloon. So I could build one of those. I could build a hot air balloon. Um, they also have the viewing vents. And I built that one way over there, you see. Let's get a closer look. It's a little tiny viewing vent, or not a viewing vent, but a viewing tower of sorts. So we have that. What other attractions we could we do? We could do a viewing dome like they have in Operation Genesis. And what that is, is basically just inside of an enclosure you have a big dome where you can go inside and look at the dinosaurs. That might be kind of cool for like the T-Rex enclosure. Oh, the T-Rex. I wonder if the other baby... Has grown at all yet. And I also need to get some carrots. And then. We're going to head on over to the lab area. Um, okay. I just got to explain. Like right now. To you guys. A little something. Probably won't matter to a lot of you. But it matters to me. Uh, that. I am not. At my computer, and I won't be for a long time. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter and don't watch the time shot stuff, and you might be out of the loop, uh, I am currently now staying with my girlfriend uh, in Michigan. So I'm in Michigan. Y'all, Michiganders, holler back. Um, but here I am. I'm in Michigan. I'm going to be here. Uh, until basically the end of August. So I'm making do with the equipment that she's got. She obviously records YouTube videos too. She's Winter Frost on YouTube. 
You guys know her. She's been here. I visited her in her world of wonder. And... So I'm there. She's I'm using her equipment. I might sound a little bit different. It's a different mic than what I have. Oh, look at all these carrots I had. She has a different mic than what I've got. And the sound is different. The computer's different. Like, there are a lot of little things that are different. So... I'm making do. <gasps> oh, okay. These guys are still there. Okay. All of them are still there. That guy's still there. Okay. Perfect. Hi, Benny. Wait, where's Benny? Hi, Benny. 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 Benny, love me. Was that him? Yee. I don't think he loves anybody. Okay, let's go see the new T-Rex. Is it growing at all? Is what I want to know. I think we got to feed it. Did it disappear? No. Here it is. Okay. Little bumblebee. Bumblebee T-Rex. He makes a snorting noise, but he hasn't... This guy is shy, hiding in a tree, currently. But that's okay. You can hide anywhere you want. Just a weird place to do it. Hiding from that little thing. Cool, though. Hasn't grown. I'm disappointed. But I think we got to feed it for it to grow. And I don't really have any way of giving it mass amounts of meat yet. So. Now, on to getting these fossils analyzed. What was this? Oh, glass. It's like invisible. Where did it just go? There it is. That's Optifine that does that. The Optifine mod. That's the noise it makes. All right. Half in there, half in there. And wait, what? How come it's not floating around? Oh, now it is. Okay. I forgot. It only floats around when it's done. So that looks like it's a hepsilophodon. And um, a bone and a parasaurol office. Oh, 100% one. Perfect. We can replace that one that was gone. Leptic tedium I already got. He okay. Rarasaur. Got to actually empty out a lot of this inventory here. You can hear the Phalosaurus underneath. Making that grumbly zombie noise. Okay. Sand? No? Sand? Can this take gravel? I think it can. Oh, not gypsum. Got a scarab jam. Dirt it can take. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I got to get this out of there. One, two, three, four. Take that. One, two, three, four. Two. Okay. I basically just, at this point, have to uh, throw a lot of it onto the ground. And just abandon it. Oh, but I bet that little ankylosaur that was here is gone now. Is it, do you think? Oh, it would have to be. I bet it's gone. Dodos, have you seen... Have you seen an ankylosaur? Anywhere? By chance? How come I have speed? Oh, yeah, because of my pants. That's right. <gasps> my boots! Yeah, so it looks like the ankylosaur that was here is gone. Did I cage him in here? Yeah, I caged him in here. He's gone. Aw, your friend is gone. But I'll make a new one. Don't you worry. All right. We can make a new one. We've got the power. We have the capability. Let's see what we got in here. Not getting exactly what I wanted, I'll be honest. 
Terraberg Quagga Dodo. Quagga Dodo Smile It On. Quagga and some beef. <coughs> I'll take the beef and the chicken actually. Can feed that to the T Rex, I'm sure. Brachiosaur. You guys are loud and obnoxious. Just saying. Make myself a furnace here. Okay. And place it there and do this and. Oops. Can't pick up things. There we go. I wanted that so I could take the gold. Put the gold in. Like so. So, is this everything that I've got? These are definitely not all 100%. This guy's 100%. The rest... Oh, this guy's 100%. Now, do are there any that I can combine? There's these two. Titanus. But they wouldn't add up to 100%. And that's it. So all of that work we did. And nothing really to show for it. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, but, like I said, I could at least make a new parasaurial office. And maybe instead of a new stegosaur, if we go through again. Whoop. Don't want to be there too long. Instead of a new stegosaur in that little holding area over here, maybe, 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 I can actually make the Hypsilophodon. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> I think so. I love the Hypsilophodon. It's like one of my favorite from the mod. It's just so adorable and green and adorable and green. So I like that idea. So I think that's what we're going to do. I got some Hepsilophodon DNA. I almost feel like I should do another fossil run, but I think I might do that one off camera. Um, or I might wait a little while uh, just to kind of give you guys a break from the fossil hunt. I know that some, some people commenting said that it was a little boring. Um, I can't really help that because some people, other people really enjoy it. So... You know, there's always going to be someone who doesn't quite like it. Either way. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. I wanted to come in here and loot. What? They're just dropping gold ingots like it's their job? Well, that's great because now I got my booties. I got my booties. Look at that. Two guys I kill. And I can make new. Like new. Yeah. Never leave home without rubber booties. Right? Yeah. Cool. So I think I'm actually going to end the episode there, you guys. Um, we didn't do a whole lot today. I just kind of wanted to bounce around and, and look at what was missing. Um, for sure, the gizmo is... Still there. So Gizmo's there. You guys saw her. But the Tylosaur... Wait. Is the Tylosaur still there? Let me go look. Let's go see. Let us go see. Is the big mean blue monster in here? Where is he? <gasps> what? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yep. There he is. Mean. Okay. Go down. Tylosaur is in there. And Orthocanthus is in there. Yes. Okay. So we are good. We're going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to be trying to put out probably another one of these episodes this week. Um, just to kind of as we go along. I still, I got to say, I have to admit, 
I still don't know the recipe for those culture vats, those new ones. I got to look it up again and I keep forgetting, but this will give me an opportunity to, uh, so I'll go back to the lab. I'll put those culture vats in there and then we can do that. We can, we can start getting the Hypsilophodon and the Parasaur. Yeah. Everything's going to be all right. We'll see you guys next time in the dinosaur world. Bye-bye.